let's make a Vine compilation. We're going to download and install Creeper Keeper and then use it to download a bunch of vines, render hard subs on them, and combine them into a compilation video. So if we right here at GitHub, uh, we have the README installation instructions. We want to download the Creeper Keeper binary from the releases page. Uh, we want the latest release. There's builds for OS X, Linux, Windows. We're on 64-bit, so we'll get that one. make a directory bin for binary to put it in install it to in a way uh, dun, dun. now if we go and try and run it from a shell like CMD uh, it can't find it because we have to add the directory it's in to the path environment variable these instructions tell you how to do that on a bunch of different operating systems. We're on Windows 7 here. And for, and for that operating system, you go to, uh, you right click on My Computer, Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, search for the Path uh, variable, and then type your directory there. I make sure to put a semicolon between it and the preceding directory. Okay, out of that. Now if we go back to our shell, try and run it. Still can't because <coughs> programs only get environment variables when they start up. So we have to restart our shell. Now it works. Cool. Uh, so the next thing on the list for installation is installing FFmpeg. We can install it from here. Uh, Windows builds, uh, you'll want to download the latest stable version and I would install it or I would download it but I already have it over here. Copy these programs to same directory or any other directory on the path, whatever. And if we go back to our shell, we can run it, cool. And so it's installed. Now we can start downloading vines and stuff. Now we want a place to put them. Doing that. We're going to be making a compilation of Ben Wilbond's vines. So we'll make a directory called Wilbond. And we'll cd to it here. Now if we just type crkr, it gives us some usage information, uh, options for all the commands. Uh, the get command lets us download vines. Uh, we'll use the V option to spit out more info. Uh, so now we need a URL. So we'll just look for Ben Wilbon vines. Get the URL there. Paste it. And we need a playlist. To write to, and we'll call it uh, DL for download. And we wait for the device to download. Got them. And if we go back to that directory, you see we got all the vines. Cool. Uh, for our compilation, maybe we don't want to use all of these videos. Let's just use those three. So we'll delete those. Uh, let's uh, save the playlist. Call it comp for compilation. Uh, you could also edit the the playlist by opening it with like a text editor using text tools, whatever. Uh, so now let's get subtitles. Uh, so there's the subtitles command which generates uh, subrip subtitles. So those are like soft subs but we need those before we can render hard subs. Uh, so we generate them for everything in our, all the files in our compilation playlist. So we got some, some subtitle files, as you can see. And if we, and they, they show up in VLC, if we open that. Uh, so now let's render the subs. 
This command creates a new playlist with the subtitled versions of the videos. So we'll, we'll have the name of the output playlist reflect that. And we'll kick that off. Uh, Creeper Keeper scales the videos so they're all the same size. Finds either 480 by 480 or 720 by 720. And we standardize them all to 720. This takes a little bit. Uh, you might get some some warnings while you're while this is running, but you can ignore most of them. If something goes wrong, the warnings can be pretty useful for diagnosing what's up. Uh, so you can pick you can pick font different fonts for your hard subs. Uh, there's also Hmm, well done. And so if we go and look at this, uh, the playlist, you see the hard subs show up on the videos. And so finally we can concat them together. Uh, we take the sub one, uh, the output file. We're joining a bunch of MP4 videos, all vines are MP4s, so our output uh, to maintain, we'll just, you'll want the output to be an mp4 as well. Uh, find us some weird stuff with audio to make the audio in their videos to make them loop better. I think that's what these warnings are about, but it generally works out pretty good. And then we can play the final video. It has hard subs, seek around. All of them. Yeah. Anyways, so that's how you use Creeper Keeper. Uh, if you have problems with it, uh, if you think it's a bug, file a bug report on GitHub. Uh, there's also this uh, thread on Reddit that people have been asking questions on. And best of luck to you. Save your vines.